Alright, so I know a lot of people have already made a video on this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, so as you guys know, or may not have known, there is a new construction update that came out today. Um, you guys can see it by going to your house options, and you can view it now and like move around rooms, delete them, and stuff like that. Um, it basically gives you a way to uh, change around your rooms and your house a lot easier, but it also gave you a lot of things that are helpful for, for Iron Man. Uh, the first one is the... where is it at on here? Superior Garden. Uh, this has a lot of stuff in it that's very useful for us, so I'm just going to go ahead and build that and go over some of the stuff in it. So it is 75k coins and it's 65 construction, which I believe is boostable. So let's go ahead and build this. And you guys will see there is a bunch of stuff right here. The first being the spirit tree uh, and the uh, fairy ring, which uh, obviously this is the stuff you're going to need for it. And you need to go to some NPCs around the game as well to get some stuff for this. So um, you can also build uh, some pool right here. And this is like uh, kind of like the uh, desert amulet. If you guys know what that is, you can recharge all of your stuff. But if you look through it, you'll see that you need a pretty decent amount of runes for these. So um, I'm actually going to start with the spirit tree and stuff. So I'll show you guys how to build this really quickly. All right, guys. So after checking the build options on this thing, I realized I need mushrooms. And being an Iron Man, I realized that I need to grow those. And then it will take around 12 hours because you can only get six per. So um, basically, I'll show you guys where to get the fairy enchantment. And if you have the mushrooms and the spirit slapping, which uh, you guys probably know how to get by now, you can go ahead and make these. So to get the uh, enchantment, you just want to go ahead and go to the... Uh, fairy ring so just find your way to uh, Zanaris any way you guys want to so once you guys get here you'll see this uh, NPC right here called fairy fix it I'm not sure if you can trade it yeah okay so you have to talk to them and I'm pretty sure if you have completed fairy tale part 2 then you'll be able to get that so uh, I guess it would just be the first option what have you got for me actually that is what you need I'm sorry so uh, go ahead and buy the fairy enchantment um, I'm not sure if it costs any coins let's actually check that really quickly value so it's only 100 coins which isn't really that big a deal so go ahead and get one of those um and then let's just go ahead and go back to the house all right so once you guys have that and you have your mushrooms and stuff you can look through these uh seeing what you need if you want to make just a spirit tree you actually don't need this you just need a spirit sapling but to make the fairy ring you need 10 mushrooms and to make the spirit tree and fairy ring you obviously need the enchantment and everything else combined together so as you guys probably saw when i clicked this thing before you need a lot of stuff for this um, what I found out too is that you need to upgrade it so you can't just say oh I want this one so these are three items I need. You actually need all of the items on here and need to go step by step upgrading it. So uh, all of the items you go, you're go you going to need are in my inventory right here. Let me just go ahead and pull up a notepad so it's easier. So you need five limestone bricks, five buckets of water, 1k soul runes, 1k body runes, uh, 10 stamina fours, 10 prayer fours, 10 super restore fours, 2 marble blocks, 10 anti venom fours which might be kind of annoying for uh, some iron men, uh, 5 gold leaves and 1k blood runes. So to buy the marble blocks and the gold leaf, it's actually going to be around 1.3 mil, which is a pretty decent amount. I think it's like 1.1 mil for the altar, I can't remember, but uh, this is all the stuff you're going to need uh, if you want to obviously build the highest one. So if you guys actually don't want to make the uh, farthest one, I'm going to tell you what all of these do. So the restoration pool uh, recharges, recharges your special attack energy. The rejuvenation pool recharges special attack and run energy. The Rejuvenation Pool recharges Special Attack, Run Energy, and Prayer Points. Uh, the Fancy One restores Special Attack, Run Energy, Prayer Points, and uh, Reduce Stats. And then the final one is going to restore everything. So Special Attack, Run Energy, Prayer Points, uh, Reduce Stats, and Hit Points. So um, I'm actually going to show you guys how I'm going to be doing this. I'm just going to be doing it in three trips. So I'll see you guys back at the bank. All right, so for the first trip, I'm basically just bringing all of these supplies to make the first two on here. Uh, once again, guys, you do need to unnote these. You can't just sit here and do it all uh, with them noted. That would be kind of stupid. Um, you also do need a hammer and a saw, so this is boostable, I believe. Uh, seeing as you need a saw, obviously it will be boostable with the uh, stews. So uh, let's go ahead and make the first one right here. And as I said, you guys have to upgrade it, as you'll see right here. Just right-click Upgrade and continue going up as far as you guys want. Uh, once you finish those two, go ahead and head back to the bank. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing for the next one is just getting these two and then doing this final one. So I'll see you guys with the next inventory. All right, so this applies for the next two or 10 prey pots, 10 super restores, and two marble blocks. Rip the GP on the marble blocks. So let's go ahead and build these next two really quickly. So now we just need to go ahead and finish building the final one. So I'll be back with the final inventory. All right, so the final inventory is 10 anti-venom fours, five gold leaves, and 1k blood runes to finish out making the ornate rejuvenation pool. So um, I believe this is the same as the um, thing at the desert. I'm not too sure. I think this actually might do more. I honestly don't know. I've never used the desert one, but uh, this does require level 90 to make. 
Um, if you guys just teleport your house and drink from it, it will basically just restore um, everything you have. So it's a very, very nice replacement to uh, not having to do the Elite Diaries, I guess, um, having 90 construction, which is kind of boostable, so it's a lot lower, but still pretty nice uh, nonetheless, uh, you know, the Spirit Tree and everything like that. So um, I'll see you guys at the next thing I'm making. All right, so I'm obviously not going to be going over everything in here because it'll probably be like a 30-minute video. I'm just going to be going over the stuff that is uh, really important for Iron Man since I know most of my viewers are Iron Men. However, I will still show everything in here. So uh, the Rejuvenation Pool and the Spirit Tree and Fairy Ring are obviously the two most important. Uh, I guess in terms of Iron Men, if you guys want something different to build with Teaks uh, instead of the Magic Wardrobes, which are kind of the pain in the ass because of the drop options, you can always build the uh, Teak Guard Bench now since it's the same. Um, let's see what else is in here. So you can also build theme spaces around here. Um, this is all the stuff you guys are going to need for that. You can do uh, Zen, Otherworldly, or Volcanic. A uh, pretty decent amount of stuff you need for that. Um, so you guys kind of want to figure out what you want to do with that. Seeing as you need six Onyxes to do the Volcanic theme, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, there's also this Topiary space, which um, I believe lets you carve a head into um, like of a bush. But you have to have killed the actual boss in order to do this. So if you have killed the boss at least once, you can use Secateurs as long as you have a Topiary Hedge and one Watering Can. Um, you can make a Kraken, Caliphite Queen, Zolra, Cerberus, Abyssal Sire, or Skatizo Head. And I believe that's it for everything in here. Uh, yeah, that's it. So um, these two things are very, very helpful. So if you guys can, make sure you have these if you're an Iron Man. So for the next room that's really, really cool is going to be the Achievement Gallery. So I'm actually going to be removing this room here because I want it to be next to my portal. So I guess I can show you guys this new uh, viewer and how it works and stuff. So um, as you see right here, this is my portal. So the room I want to delete being right here is the one to the right. Basically, all you do is select that and you click delete and you guys will see the room that I want deleted gets deleted. It's pretty cool. Uh, really nice for working around your house. So uh, we're going to go ahead and build the achievement gallery now, which is obviously going to be at the very bottom. 200k coins and level 80 to create this. Um, I'm not really too sure which is the best way to actually rotate this. But seeing as the altar's right here, I guess that's not too bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and build that. So now that it is built, you guys will see there is a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, this one over here looks pretty cool, obviously. But this is what we're after, guys, the new altar space. So basically what this does is it allows you guys to build altars for changing your spell books. So you don't have to go around the game, which is fucking annoying as hell. What I've been doing is just using the Magic Cape skill perk once per day since you can change uh, using that. But these are going to be really, really helpful. The only problem is look how much you need, guys. 10,000 Astro Runes and stuff for this. So that's definitely a lot of stuff you need. Uh, for the Ancient Altar, you actually need a Pharaoh Scepter too, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, you guys will also see for these you need Signets. So I'm going to be showing you guys where around the game you get these Signets for each of these. Uh, so I'll see you guys once I go and get the Signet for the Ancient Altar. All right, so the first signet we're going to be getting is the ancient one, and of course this requires the completion of the desert treasure quest. So I'm just going to be using the uh, camulet to get there and teleporting it to the quarry. So once you guys get here, you're basically going to the mirrors, which are uh, around this corner up here, and you'll see an NPC called Eblis, and you'll be able to get the signet from him. I'm not sure how much it costs. It's probably uh, like 100 coins like the other thing I bought earlier, so let's go ahead and talk to him. And basically what you want to do is ask him if he has any symbols of the god. And he will give you the ancient signet. Um, it looks like it didn't cost anything, but just go ahead and bring like 1k coins or something uh, just to be safe. Alright, so for the next signet, being the lunar one, you need to obviously have completed the lunar diplomacy quest. And we're going to be talking to Baba Yaga. Um, you guys can get up here however you want. Um, it's just a lunar bank, basically. Um, make sure you guys have the seal of passage, because if you don't, I don't think you can actually trade Baba Yaga. So just go ahead and run up here if you guys have never been before. And go inside this basically chicken house and you guys will see Baba Yaga all you have to do is right click trade and buy the lunar signet which is two coins so uh, bringing that 1k as I told you guys before will be very helpful um, I wonder if the ancient signet is two coins as well it didn't really seem that way but there is the first two signets the next one we're going to be getting is the dark signet which requires 100% Arceus favor and you can get by talking to the NPC near the dark altar I believe it's the same one that you used to switch spell books so I'm actually just going to go ahead and be using the uh, fairy ring there. If you guys don't know the code to it, I will show you in a second. All right, so once you guys get here, you're going to go ahead and use the fairy ring. And the code to get there is CIS. Um, if you guys haven't actually unlocked this fairy ring, make sure you do that first or this code will not show up for you. Um, you basically just get up here and you talk to this NPC and you pay like 100k or something and it will unlock the fairy ring. 
So just go ahead and run up here to the east, and I'll see you guys at the Dark Altar. Alright, so once you guys get up here, you'll see the NPC called Tis. I believe that's how you say it. It's the same one you use to change the spellbook. Just go ahead and talk to them and ask them if they sell souvenirs, I guess. And then you will get the Archaea Signet. That doesn't seem to be what they wrote in the thing. It says Dark Signet, but I'm assuming this is the right one. So um, there is the Archaea Signet you need for the Dark Altar. So if you guys are looking at what you need to build, you'll also notice that you need one other thing. And you can get this from the Stonemason in Keldegrim. And this is a magic stone, which is incredibly expensive, 975k, rip my fucking bank. Um, one thing you guys will notice, though, is if you actually uh, look at what it, it says, in, you'll see that you need uh, one magic stone per altar. Um, if you're going to build all three into one called the occult altar, it seems you actually only need one magic stone. Um, it, it excludes all the other ones. Um, it's same with the limestone bricks, so I believe to build all three altars, all you need is 10 limestone bricks and one magic stone, and then just the rest of the items. So I'll see you guys back in the house really quickly, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so here we are back at the house. I have everything I need to build the lunar altar, as you guys will see in a second. Um, I actually don't have the pharaoh scepter, so I can't build the ancient altar, and I just don't feel like uh, wasting all these uh, runes right now to build the dark one. And there's no point anyway, because I think once you build the first one, you need all the supplies for the next two if you want to have all three of them in one. So in order to build the uh, Lunar Altars, altars you guys will see, you need all of this. Um, 10 Chaos Ruins I actually had to go and buy, which was a pain in the ass. But let's go ahead and build the uh, Lunar Altar. So there is a Lunar Altar now, and um, actually it looks like you, you can upgrade it, and it might show it now. So there it is, the Occult Altar. So once you guys build one of them, it does not matter which one it is. You can actually right-click Upgrade it. And the Occult Altar includes all three of them in one. And as I said before, you do not need another Magic Stone. You do not need more Limestone Bricks. You just need both of the Signets and the Pharaoh Scepter and the Runes. So you just need basically the other items for it. So um, if you guys, just make sure you don't buy three Magic Stones because you'll hate yourself. You need one Magic Stone and ten Limestone Bricks. And then you can upgrade it for the rest of these. So uh, that is the first really nice thing uh, in here. There's a pretty cool... Uh, thing as well over here the jewelry box which I'm not going to be doing because it it's a lot of stuff to do and I just can't be asked and it's probably not going to be very useful for me uh, for some other people on my who knows basically um it lets you have unlimited uh, uses so as you guys know there is the glory you can put on the wall in the uh, quest hall I believe it is and it gives you unlimited charges on your glory this will actually give you unlimited charges uh, on the ring of dueling and the games necklace for the first one the next one will include the Ring of Dueling, the Games Necklace, the Combat Bracelet, and the Skills Necklace. And then the final one will include the four previously mentioned, the Glory, and the Ring of Wealth. So if you guys have this final one, uh, it's basically unlimited jewelry charges uh, if you guys are uh, don't want to buy a bunch of stuff like that. So another thing in here, which I'm not going to be building right now, is actually the Adventure Log Space. Um, what this will do is if people come into your house, if you're, you're like hosting an altar or something, you'll be able to come over here. And uh, check this, and it will show them your boss kill log, your slayer kill log, um, your champion challenge progress. So um, it's a pretty cool little feature. Um, not really that useful for Iron Man since nobody can come into your house. But uh, there's that. Uh, another thing is the boss lair space. Uh, for this one, you will see that you actually uh, need some uh, pretty... Uh, it's not that many items. It's actually pretty easy to build. The only thing with this is you need your jars. So this gives use to jars. Uh, say you have um, the jar from the Kraken. Um, as you see right here, you'd be able to build a little crack in space. Um, I'm not too sure if it like moves or anything, but um, just a little nice display case to show that you've gotten the jar. Um, pretty cool if you line a bunch of these rooms up and you just have like every jar. Um, another thing in here is the display space. And I'm actually not too sure what this is. I think you can hang like uh, your uh, quest cape, your skill cape, and stuff like that on here. Um, it also allows you to put up like fire cape, uh, bounty hunter emblems or a big stack of coins. So that's basically gonna be it for this video, guys. I just wanted to go around the new uh, rooms and show you guys everything they added because it was a pretty freaking big update. Um, a lot of very, very useful stuff was added. Um, one thing I noticed, which um, when looking back through the recording is, you need fucking 100 mil coins to do this amount of coins. I don't know who the hell would put 100 mil coins on a pedestal, but yeah, the requirement is 100 mil coins, uh, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Sorry I didn't go through it and make absolutely everything. Some of the stuff I didn't have or some of the stuff wasn't going to be useful to me and it cost way too much. 
but I did want to go through and show you guys everything. I wish I was able to make the uh, fairy ring, but I didn't really look at anything before this because, as you guys know, I wasn't able to play, so I didn't have any of the mushrooms. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you were able to see through everything on this update. Um, I'll see you guys in the next Iron Man video, hopefully very soon. I have around five or six minutes recorded with that, so I will see you guys in that video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys then.